I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 35. Let's focus on verses 1 through 3. Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Now, I've been in several troublesome situations during my lifetime. It's the kind of trouble that I couldn't fathom a way out from. Perhaps you've been there too. So I can identify with David's words. I know how it feels to have exhausted all of the imagined escape routes, knowing that salvation must come from the Lord if it is to come at all. And perhaps that's why Jesus' name in Hebrew, Yeshua, literally means salvation, or more precisely, the salvation of God. Now, in verses 5 and 6, David cries out to the Messiah, the angel of the Lord, uh, to personally save him. Uh, the same Messiah to whom we cry out for salvation. Now, consider the difference between an angel and the angel of the Lord, because an angel went to visit Joseph, who was the betrothed of Mary. Matthew chapter 1, verses 19 through 21. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for what is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, or Yeshua, for he will save his people from their sins. Literally, the angel says, you will call Jesus' name, you'll call him God saves, for he will save his people from their sins. Now, for a moment, let's lay aside the idea of our need for eternal salvation. And instead, let's focus on various situational needs for salvation that we may encounter, right? Things like health issues, financial crisis, domestic disputes, or even criminal aggression. Whenever we encounter a situation from which we're certain that only the Lord can rescue us, we typically ask the Lord, how long? Or we plead, please don't let this situation go any further. Now consider that within the lens of Psalm 35, verses 22 through 26. This you have seen, O Lord, do not keep silent. O Lord, do not be far from me. Stir up yourself and awake to my vindication, to my cause, my God and my Lord. Vindicate me, O, my, o Lord, my God, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, ah, so we would have it. Let them not say, we have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who rejoice at my hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor who exalt themselves against me. Remember the Lord allowed Pharaoh to pursue Israel so closely that Egypt literally overtook the Israelites at the Red Sea? He allowed this so that the Egyptians would know that the Lord is God, also that the Israelites would be strengthened in their faith when God delivered them from seemingly hopeless situations. Let's pick up that narrative in Exodus 14, verses 8 and 9. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he pursued the children of Israel, and the children of Israel went out with boldness. So the Egyptians pursued them, all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, his horsemen and his army, and overtook them camping by the sea beside pi ha before baal Zephon. Now, regardless of how close the enemy gets, remember that God can save anyone and from any distance. So call upon the Lord. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And your giving to Groundworks Ministries transforms lives. Would you consider making a donation to Groundworks Ministries today? Because we need your support now more than ever. 
Donating is secure and it's easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. You know, another way to help is to tell people about Groundworks Ministries. Share these podcasts with friends and family and on your social media. And of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com. 